was here today. Mike Sloan goes down on the far side, and now here it is in the area again. It's Deck. Deck with a shot, and he scores. David Deck got free just outside the area, and from about 10 yards away, right footed it past Milovac. So in the 21st minute, David Deck puts the Stingers on top. Now here comes Michael Richardson. Through ball to Hamnet. Loose ball in front, knocked it home as Mile Milovac could not control that one as it bounced off him off the initial shot. And so Hamnet gets his third goal of the season in the 33rd minute. Gresham being the better part of Valor for Marcus Roy, he played that one short. And Hamnet with a nice bicycle kick back, but G sends it up ahead. Phillips, one touch with the head, try to get it to Sloan. And here's Monami all alone. In the area, he's got three defenders around, takes a shot and off the post. Outstanding as Monami found himself alone. It's the top four, but with only four teams in this division, only the top three make it. And here's Deck on the run, onside, and it's one on one as he digs Ernie out, and then Yarborough comes up to grab it off his foot. And now he shouts encouragement to his teammates and hopes that that fires him up. Alderson into the area. In front, Obi Monami scores! It's George Crawford! George Crawford scores again. Well, he must love playing in front of the TV cameras because for the second straight week, George Crawford gets the blast on the board. Right here is Crawford around Richardson falling down and beats Marcus Roy to the far post. So George Crawford takes the team lead with his second goal. And that gives him four points on the season. A guy who, from what I hear, when he was a youth player in Lawrence, was an outstanding offensive player, but he got down to Jerry Egley at IU. The clock has hit zero, and the whistle blows, and that is that. So the Chicago Stingers have defeated the Indiana Blast here at Coot Stadium this afternoon by the final score of 2-1. to one. An exciting match, and the Blast did have their chances.